Hello and welcome to another week of the Premier Fitness League. This week, 14.10. Oh, the pain. It is a chipper for time with a 20 minute time cap. It starts with 90 double unders, and then 75 overhead lunges with a 20 kilo plate for men, 10 kilo plate for women, then 60 kettlebell swings, 24 kilos for men, 20 for women, then 45 thrusters, 42.5 kilos for men, 30 kilos for women, 30 pull ups, 15 team burpees, and then back through the other way. So 30 pull ups, 45 thrusters, 60 kettlebell swings, 75 overhead lunges, and finishing with 90 double unders again. Only one athlete can be working at any one time. They can only one kettlebell, one bar, and one plate can be used for the overhead lunges. Movement standards. Double unders. The rope must pass under the feet twice before the feet touch the floor in order for the rep to be counted. A single under or a failed attempt is not permitted and will be classified as a no rep. Overhead lunges. The rep must start with the athlete at full extension holding the plate overhead. The arms do not need to be locked out but the plate can't touch the athlete's head. The athlete will then step forward into a lunge making sure the back knee touches the floor. The athlete will then return to a fully standing position. The athlete must be at full extension again before starting the next rep. A jumping rep, backwards lunge or a rep where the athlete does not get back to full extension before starting the next rep will all be considered no reps. Kettlebell swings. The kettlebell starts off on the floor but can be picked up before the overhead lunges have finished. When the athlete starts the rep it must be shown to start from between their legs and finish above their, arm, their head with arms, hips and knees fully locked out. Thrusters. With the bar in the front rack position, the athlete must perform a full squat, ensuring they are breaking parallel. The rep is finished when the athlete is fully extended with the bar locked out overhead. There can be a pause and a push press from when the athlete stands up, but when they put the bar overhead, however, a jerk of any kind is not permitted. The first rep can be squat clean, providing the movement standards are met. Pull ups. Each rep is started with the athlete hanging from the bar with the arms fully extended. A rep is completed when the chin is clearly pulled above the bar. Any style of pull-up is allowed, strict, kipping, butterfly, etc. as long as these guidelines are met. Team burpees. All three athletes must start standing. At the start of each rep, all three must ensure that chest and thighs make contact with the floor at the same time. No athlete can proceed to stand up until everyone else is on the floor. The next rep cannot start until all three athletes have jumped off the ground and are back at full extension. Reps can be linked together and you don't have to reset the start of each rep. Good luck and have fun.